In Health News tonight, a big breakthrough in measuring an infant's risk of developing an autism spectrum disorder. News 8's medical reporter Jocelyn Mementa with more on a study led by a prominent Yale researcher tying abnormal placentas to the developmental disorder. Allie and Darren, this is an incredible study with wide applications. The, the placenta is what provides the oxygen and nutrients to the fetus during pregnancy, and they share the same genetic material. Dr. Harvey Kleiman was able to link abnormal markers in the placenta to determine the baby's risk of being diagnosed with autism. Researchers now have a clearer understanding of a newborn's risk of developing an autism spectrum disorder. They discovered it starts with a genetic abnormality in the placenta. Basically the question we were wondering is, could we look at the placenta to predict what's happening in the brain? Dr. Harvey Kleiman at Yale School of Medicine conceived the study of looking closely at placentas from infants of families with one or more previous children with autism he found a high number of a specific marker. This is the marker, trophoblast inclusion. Researchers determined those with at least four of these abnormal folds led to a high probability of an autism diagnosis. If they have four, it's over 96% probable that they're in the at-risk group. It's a test now available for parents to determine if their child at birth has any risk for autism. If you're pregnant for the first time, you don't know if you're in the at-risk group. That's why doing this test can be so useful. The early detection, Dr. Kleiman stresses, will lead to early intervention and better outcomes. What we can do for these children is help them socialize respond to other people, look people in the eye. What we really need to do is get people who specialize in this area to figure out ways to do early intensive intervention for the children who are positive for this test. And this is not going to be harmful to the children. This is going to be just exercises the parents can do with their child. I'm deaf. Dr. Kleiman tells me the study could have an even wider application, especially for other neurodevelopmental disorders such as ADHD and schizophrenia. Meantime, Dr. Kleiman says testing for the abnormal markers is now available. It could cost several thousand dollars and it is not yet covered by insurance. For more information, log on to our website, WTNH.com, and we will link you to that site. Darren?